In this quick tip we're going to be talking about our friend the Mobius camera. This is where mine lives on top of an anti-vibration mount on my QAV250 quadcopter. I actually fly it first person view using this camera here at the front but record the flight in beautiful HD via the Mobius here on top. Now this is the normal way that you'd actually use a Mobius and it's the default way that it's set up in software with the buttons and the heat sinks on the top so that the video that you record is the right way up. However, occasionally you might want to mount it in another orientation, upside down, so that um, you can record video but still have it appear the right way up. And this is typically the way you want to mount it in things like car cams or maybe dash cams where you have it up near the top of your windscreen. Now that's a relatively easy thing to do, to swap that around, so if you um, stick with it we'll go through what you need to do in the next couple of minutes. First thing you need to do is download the software onto a PC that we're going to connect this to that will actually allow us to change the settings. So if you search for the Mobius manual, you'll find a website which is the mobius-actioncam.com downloads-info location. I'll put that uh, link in the description for speed. If you click on the uh, current version of msetup.zip which is in the middle of the screen that'll take you to a temp files location if you then right click on the msetup.zip at the moment it's right slap bang in the middle of the screen that bright red one click save as then you'll save it down onto your desktop there's only one file in that zip file if you just drag that into um, a folder or onto your desktop you don't have to install it if you just double click it it'll run so we'll do that on the PC in a second the other thing we have to do before we plug this camera in to configure it is we need to make sure there's an SD card inserted at the back. We need to press and hold the mode button and then press and hold the power button and keep those pressed until the light flashes three times. There we go. Now it's ready to plug in. Now what we've done by pressing and holding those two buttons is created a little configuration file that the software is looking for and that file is on the SD card. So let's get the netbook open, plug this in via a USB cable and change that orientation. So on the desktop we have that M setup file that we've just downloaded and again just drag that out of the zip file that it comes in and we're going to double click that to run it. Once it runs it'll um, show us all of the things we can change but we can see that it's actually not connected to anything. So this is the point now where we'll plug in the camera via the USB cable and there it is it appears in the top if we click on the camera that it can see then we have access to all the settings down here. Now the one we actually want is in the video modes themselves and in here you have the option to actually rotate the video by 180 degrees, i.e. turn it upside down. At the moment these are the only options that are available through the interface. There's no option to rotate it by 90 degrees so you could mount it um, vertically kind of on the side of a helmet or something. It has to be horizontal either the right way up or upside down. Once you've decided which way you want it you click on set parameters and it'll tell you that the camera has been successfully updated and we can now disconnect. And now we can disconnect and the camera will record the video in the way that we've set through the interface. So hopefully that helps some of you that's trying to figure this out. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.